Hello, in this video, I'm going to tell you all about what a blister is. Uh, so a blister is a collection of serous fluid. So serous fluid is really just like a kind of clear yellowish fluid uh, that we have in all sorts of places around the body. It is completely benign um, and very useful in many cases. Uh, so we have in all sorts of places in the body that, and it's fulfilling all sorts of different functions. In the case of a blister, it's sort of like your body in response to severe friction, your body sort of bubble wrapped that area to protect your tissue against that friction. Um, so a blister is really just your body created a little pocket of fluid, a little bubble of fluid as a protective barrier between the friction that that area is experiencing and the other tissues that are deep to that. Um, so it's a collection of serous fluid that can be formed within the epidermis. So like in this picture, the gray part is the epidermis. So that's our out outermost portion of skin. Um, or it can be formed between the epidermis and the dermis, which is the layer that is deep to that. Um, so it can be either or just depending on the cause of the blister um, or what it's trying to protect from. Uh, we can have blisters that are in response to other things besides friction, like blisters uh, that are the result of a severe burn. Um, so blisters form as an effort to protect the tissue. Um, so then the next question is, people always ask me, well, should I pop my blister? Well, no. The answer is no. Um, in any case where you can leave it alone, that's what you should do. So just leave it alone and let it heal. Um, when there is no more exposure to that friction, the serous fluid will be reabsorbed through the dermis and go. that fluid will go back into circulation. Um, and then the skin will have an opportunity to heal at that point. If you pop it, now you're creating an open wound. So yes, you're getting the serous fluid out. But for one thing, it might be premature. So if that area is still experiencing the same friction, then it's going to be even worse because now you have an open wound that is also experiencing that friction. So that's even worse. Um, so if you pop it, you're going to let the fluid out. Um, and now you have a wound that is going to be more vulnerable to infection. Um, so the only time I would say, yes, maybe it's a good idea to pop the blister is if it's especially large and painful and if the exposure that created it in the first place is removed. So you're no longer wearing the shoes that caused it or whatever it is that caused that blister in the first place. So you've got to stop whatever that activity is. And if it's very large and painful, you may prefer to pop it because then you could do it in a more controlled way. Um, if you are going to pop your blister on purpose, instead of just letting it run its course, um, be aware that it can become infected. So clean the blister, clean the area before and after you do it. Um, make sure if you're using some kind of instrument or tool to pop it, that it's very clean, sanitize it if you can. Um, after you've popped it, now it's an open wound. So make sure that you apply some kind of antibacterial ointment. Um, and then cover it with a bandage. So put a bandaid on it and keep it covered and clean just like you would with any other kind of cut or open wound. Uh, but again, if you can leave it alone and just let it run its course, uh, when your body no longer requires that blister to protect against friction, then your body will just reabsorb that serous fluid. It'll go back into circulation. Um, and then the dermis and epidermis will be able to heal at that point. And it never has to open. You never have to have an open wound when you have a blister. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you have a great day.